Hey guys, 22 uk back again. Um, here's a, like I say, a quick whiz around uh, the games room, around well, the blast furnace, as I like to call it. Not ideal, I know. Um, as you could probably see over there, uh, I do have pink blankets covering most of the things to stop the sun fade. And the reason why they're pink before anyone takes a piss is because I've got two daughters and it's the cheapest option. Uh, ideally, I probably need to get some heavy curtains, which is something else for another day. It'll do for the minute, uh, so that's where I'm at. So all pink, puffed type questions, questions, um, remarks you know, are obviously going to be uh, made, no doubt. Right, so like I said, I've got a couple of bookcases now running along the length. Uh, I think I showed these before, so I've had a, I've had a re a rejig, remove around, uh, trying to make best use of the space, etc. Uh, again, like I say, it's not ideal, I know, um, but it's what I've got, so I'll make the best of what I've got. So, up here, we've got all the PlayStation 2 games. These are all double depth, so if I show you the shelf below, you'll see what I mean. So, again, all, all in alphabetical ish order, i.e., A to Z. Um, I'm probably not going to pan across all of it because that'll be in a video for another day. Like I say, it's more just to give you an idea of, you know, I don't salon or anything like that all the games that i get that i need i keep uh obviously duplicates like in the pickups a minute ago out of them 60 games you know some of them are going to be duplicates i'll move them on like i said to you guys out there or somewhere else you know I'll, I'll move them on but uh i tend to keep them obviously uh a couple of playstation one games there because the little shelf that i use have obviously uh, exceeded that so let me just move this out of the way. So there's more PlayStation 1 games behind there. That's me uh, and 64. Pile of demo discs and other spurious crap there. Sensible soccer box from Darren there. So we need to find the game for that. Mega CDs. Ooh, down a level. So a couple of early two Jaguar games, um, more Mega CDs, my Pokemon GameCube games at the back there. You got the Saturn ones, my GameCube uh, piles of oh there are Game Gear games. I've got my uh, Mega CD hiding at the back, piled under with a load of crap. Uh, what else have we got? Nintendo. Loose and at the back here behind these are the boxed ones. Show you. Oh, get in there, there we go. So, them double dragon games, I found them at the charity shop. So, bonus. Uh, pop, try and pop these back and try to do this one handed. Oh. As we talk it, always need a toolkit. And uh, all my spare Master System games. But anyway, that's not that important. Uh, game Gear. Game Gear down there. Some of the ones that I've got in, uh, in the little plastic protected cases. Boxed. Box Game Gear games. PSP games. And more at the back. Behind them there. I say a little bit mishmashed, you know. Although I moved it all around, I didn't really reorganise it. Ideally, um, I'm actually going to get another shelf, another shelving unit. So hopefully, it will give me a better chance to to really sort them out. Uh, up here, we've got uh, Game Gear, Game Gear, Game Cube. Uh, again, these are like I say, uh, doubled. Uh, Again, that'll probably be a video for another time. And uh, the sort of bulk, well, I suppose it is the bulk, is uh, the Master System Collection. Again, as you can probably see from here, it's double double depth. Uh, recent edition there. Micro Machines needs to be uh, filed. All the toys and plushies, I just think they'd look nice just to, you know, spice it up a little bit. Make the units look a bit interesting. Uh, the light gun. So there's light gonna picked up today and that's the, the one at the back there that I was using. So that one will go back into the box then. 
Uh, all my systems talk about boxes, like I said, uh, I, I think I mentioned before, actually under the stairs. Um, because there's no, there's no room to put them here, there's no, it wouldn't be right. You see a Street Fighter 2 hologram picture, I got that for free, I've got two of them. They were free, That's, the light's a bit bright there, so... Tail end of the, the Master System games there, Pro Action Replay. A couple of little figures, and there's the uh, trackball from uh, Minx36 Craig. Really appreciate that. I still need to get the American games that play on that. Ooh. So, that making you feel sick. So there we go. There's a lot. Look, there's a pink. There you go. Come on, get your comments in. Um, so they're two sort of main units, if you like. So that trying to make people feel too sick. Uh, there's a controls that I picked up today. And then I got like a smaller. That's all fine. You want to see that crap? Smaller bookcase here. Trying to get get the wife to take them filing things back, um, which is. Well, which was Mega Drive, which has turned into N64, especially after today's pickups. Uh, there's a box of Mortal Kombat that I got from um, Burpa Den, so no doubt he's going to have some nice comments uh, regarding everything else. So yeah, so the N64 is slowly growing. Oh, and, and there's the uh, Return of the Jedi, which I still need to get the cartridge for. So yeah, Mega Drive games. Uh, again, I've showed the majority of these off anyway before, um, but this is just to reiterate. So I'm to pack them up the back there as, as well now. Uh, you know, the collection again, double double depth on these. Uh, drop down now to the, the sort of smaller smaller collections. This is sort of tends to be the Dreamcast slash packaging shelf. Get all that crap. There we go. Some more art games in there. Look how many Choo Choo Rockets there are there. Look, anyone want to copy Choo Choo Rocket? Uh, there we got some Ataris, and behind the Ataris, if I can do it without them all falling down. I've got so I, which were the sort of start of my boxed games. This is like the same on the N64s and some Nintendo's got Secret of Secret of Evermore there. Final my Final Fantasy 3. Zelda. So and then just behind that if you can see amongst all the Ninja Turtles is a television. I still need to pick that console up. And then last, well not lastly, then in the corner here, I say is the, uh, the PlayStation 1 at the minute, which is obviously growing. Oop, too fast. It's growing, make everyone feel sick. So that's rammed up now. There's me, uh, 32 inch Sony Triniton, with all my little figures. Right, underneath the drawer. Is all of the loose carts, so loose Mega Drives, SNES, N64, and anything else random like you know, a couple of Japanese ones there, a couple of loose oh, stun games. Hang on, which I technically, yes, I have got, but it's on my list as not having because I don't class it loose for having it. Um, yeah, so. Again, all the N64. There's a two games that come from um, two MSX to go. We appreciated them. This is obviously RAM packed, so them N64 games that I picked up today. I'm gonna have to find a home for somewhere for them. Ugh. Got a Dreamcast tucked up there at the minute. Well, as well as around the corner. There's me Turbo Graphics and. Obviously, we make Sega Master System, which is modded. Uh, across here, smaller little unit. That's all just DS stuff, which the kids tend to play on. You know, like I said, I do keep the games. There's that Pokemon that I picked up the other week. Uh, can't remember what else it was I picked up the other week. Oh, the Final Fantasies. There you go. And uh, what's it called? Hoshigama. And then 
the ultimate, the beast, is uh, the AES. Twin joysticks, a couple of loose cuts there, and then it's the games. So you have to excuse a pile. This is the stuff that I picked up today, so I'm going to have to try and jump over them. So, yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd love to be able to get some more AES games. Because it's an absolute awesome system, absolutely awesome. Uh, yeah, so there's all the pile of, uh, like I say, I picked up today. A fairly hefty chunk, because I, I look at like that Lena Tower of N64 games. So I've got to find a home for them. Ugh. This thing I keep moving is just full of the me hammer beads and a couple of manuals, uh, guides rather. And then, I think everyone has one of these at some point, or a variant of it. It's the bins. The bins full of controllers and shite and everything else. Powers and adapters and whatnot. And then down here is all the sort of my handhelds that I've managed to accumulate. Um, so this this the uh, this tribal one I just tend to use as my little tester because it's, it's completely beaten up. I think it only cost me a quid or two from the car boot, but it's useful just to test stuff. And like I say, if it gets knocked about in the travels, it doesn't really matter. So again, I'm not going to go into any great detail, but yeah, it's full of all the Game Boys. And then because obviously I hadn't started collecting for these, all the Xbox games I just piled up there. Look. Uh, and then there's a few PS2 controls that I'm looking to clean up and, and get working. And there's a couple of spare Game Boys, which hopefully will have a new home soon. And that's really it, guys. That's where I live. Me Indies and me little uh, pearl beads. And there's my Xbox that I got for a fiver. Fully working. Now, <laughs> um, So, yeah, that's, that's it. Um... Hopefully it didn't make you feel too sick. Like I say, it, was, it, it wasn't going to be anything in depth. Um, pink puffed comments always welcome uh, and probably expected. So, uh, yeah. I, I hope you, you enjoyed it as much as it... for what it was. Which is, like I say, it's just a quick run through. It's not all. It's not a collection video. It's just me moving and moving around. Giving you an idea of how I've had to set it up. What I'm currently running with. So, the vast majority is just all the games in here. Um... And the loose consoles that would use to play the games, all the boxed versions, like the box N64, it says under the stairs and stuff like that, and game cubes and whatnot. All right, so take it easy, YouTube, and I'll speak to you soon. Thanks, and bye bye.